Hi everybody, welcome to Now What with Britt and Sean. I'm Sean. And I'm Britt. On our channel for grades K to 8, we learn new things and have some fun. Yeah! yeah. And what are we going to learn today, Britt? Today, we're going to make our own lava, lava lamps. But first, what is a lava lamp? Lava lamps are decorative lamps filled with colorful liquid and a special globby formula inside. When you turn on the lamp, you can see the globs floating around the colorful liquid. The lamps were invented in 1963 by a British businessman named Edward Craven Walker. Once they hit the market, the lamps quickly became a popular home accessory. They were an icon of the swing in 60s and are still made and sold today. Whoa! Lava lamps are so cool! Okay, I'm ready to make one. We just need to find a volcano and bottle up some lava. It's not actual lava. It's a special formula made by scientists. It has 11 secret ingredients inside. Oh, well, how does it work? I'll explain. Lava lamps work because of something called molecular density. Everything around us is made up of molecules which are teeny tiny particles. The water inside a lava lamp is very dense. It's made of lots of tightly packed molecules. The lava formula's molecules are even denser than the water at first, but once the lamp is turned on, the heat from the bulb causes the molecules in the lava to vibrate and move farther apart from each other, which causes the lava to expand and become less dense than the water. As the lava becomes less dense, it floats to the top of the lamp. Once it's farther away from the hot bulb, it cools off and the molecules move closer together again, becoming more dense, which causes the lava to sink back down to the bottom of the lamp where it gets heated up again. The lava continues to float and sink until the lamp is turned off. That's amazing. Now I'm ready to make my own lava lamp. But Sean, remember what I said? We don't know the secret formula. That's okay. I think I know a way that we can make our own version. For this activity, you're going to need a glass jar. It doesn't matter what size. It can be an old tomato jar. It can also be an old jam jar. You need some food coloring, some cooking oil. It could be canola oil or olive oil. It's up to you. A Alka-Seltzer pill and a flashlight or an LED light. This isn't absolutely uh, mandatory, but it's kind of cool and I'll show you why. So what you want to do first is you want to fill the jar with a quarter, about a quarter of the way with water. And then I'm going to add some drops of food coloring. And I would maybe put probably about uh, seven to 10 drops. I'm going to close it up and I'm going to mix it up to make sure the food coloring and the water are mixed. And if you notice, they, they mix up nicely because they are the same density. Then we are going to take some oil and we're going to fill the jar up to about the top, almost the top, about to where the, uh, the rim is. And if you notice what's happening when I'm doing this is the oil is splashing into the water but then it's popping back up and it's creating a layer on top of the water. And the reason for this is the oil is actually less dense than the water. go right to about the edge and if you look closely you can actually see there are a bunch of water bubbles uh, inside the oil and what's happening is the water is starting to settle because when the oil hit the water it started to splash and it mixed a little bit but as you wait you will see that the water is going to settle and the oil is going to sit on top now what we're going to do is we are going to put the Alka-Seltzer pill into our solution. And then we're gonna place our jar on top of the light. Just like we learned earlier, everything around us is made up of molecules. The molecules in water are dense, which means they're packed close together. The molecules in oil are not as dense. That's why the oil floats on top of the water. When you add the Alka-Seltzer tablet, it sinks to the bottom, then starts to dissolve. As it dissolves, it makes gas or carbon dioxide. The gas is less dense than the water and oil, so it floats to the top. The gas bubbles bring some colored water with them to the top. When the gas comes out of the colored water, the water gets heavy again and sinks back to the bottom. 
It does this over and over again until the tablet is completely dissolved. Now let's try with the lights off. If you want, you can try using different liquids to experiment with molecular density. For example, you can pour honey, vegetable oil, dish soap, and water into a glass and see what happens. If you had fun with us today, make sure that you like the video and subscribe to our channel so that way we can have more fun together. And now for next week's activity, drum roll please. <laughs> Tape reveal art to celebrate Pride Month. Don't forget to tune in. See, see you next time. time.